or works extremely well with the structure points. It respects the structure points and it behaves exactly as we expect them at. So the 137.46 has been a very important point. And right there, just a couple of days ago, it tested it, it failed, and it capitulated to the downside. But as I said, I do have a very minor buy signal over here. It is not yet a major sell signal. This was our selling point. So my selling point right now is going to be right there. And that is the 135.07. Five. That is going to be our selling point. Okay. And we close the week at 135.56. So that again this is a minor buy signal and i'm looking now for it to, so this could break either to the downside or to the upside because it it is just kind of a wishy-washy kind of a close but it has more to the buy side than it has to the sell side so the way we are going to trade this is this our buy is going to be if it trades above 135.76 so my buy point is going to be 20 points from here I don't know is there, there's some some reason the, the, the tick is downloaded slowly today So as you see, the, the, the euro has been pretty much in a major downtrend, and I have no reason to buy that unless it trades above. So this is going to be my buy above 1.3580. That's going to be my buy point in the euro. Again, I don't have anything on the intraday that indicates I do have a trend change. But I have from the daily chart that we might have some accumulation. So I'm still looking to be a buyer of that if it trades above 135.80. And I will be seller of it if it breaks below the 135.07. So this here is going to be my selling point. So I'm going to short it below. Let's put it this way. It's safer to short it below 134.96. So in this area here, it is trying to make up its mind whether it wants to go up or it wants to come down. So I will only short it below 134.96. And again, it is not one of the high priority shorts as of now we need to be clear on the that is my short point my long point is we're going to buy it above 135 80 1.3580 now my structure long to the upside is 137 from last week 137 as is my structure short now is the 134 is the same now if I'm going to buy it above 13580 I'm going to place my stop right below 135. 60 I'm going to risk a, a very small uh, stop and if I take it short below 134.96 my stop is going to be above the market side which is the 135.34 okay 
So this is the euro dollar. Let me recap it. So we're buy, uh, we'll be buying the euro above 135.80. And if we do, our stop is going to be below 135.60. So I'm risking 20 pips on that trade. And I have a structure long above 137.46. But the high probability thus far is either going to be a narrow range or to the downside. I will only go short below 134.96. And if I do, I'm going to place my stop above 135.34. So I'm risking about 36 pips on that trade. And my structure short is a very strong structure short to the downside, which is the 134.46 okay that is the euro 